What's the importance of the shoulder turn on the serve and when should you make it? I'm going to talk about that today in this serve lesson. My name is Jeff Salzenstein, founder of Tennis Evolution, USTA High Performance Coach, and I'm really excited to bring you today's lesson because I'm going to break down again the importance of the shoulder turn and when I think you should make it. There's a lot of different ways to serve and you know you can find your own way of doing it but I'm going to share with you what I think is the most efficient way to serve when it comes to the shoulder turn. So when we talk about the shoulder turn one of the huge benefits is to be able to create disguise. So when you think of guys like Roger Feder and Pete Sampras when they make their first move and go into the trophy position they make that really really big shoulder turn here where the chest starts to turn towards the back, uh, back fence. And uh, that really uh, enables a player to hold that disguise, to be able to hold this position so that their opponent can't read the serve. So that's absolutely huge to be able to have a great shoulder turn. Another huge benefit is that it enables you to create the right amount of topspin on the serve because the topspin component of the serve is absolutely vital to your success. If you don't have a shoulder turn, if you just bring your arms up like this, you cannot hit topspin. You'll have to hit slice and come around the ball, and now your percentages are going to decrease. The best servers in the world, Andy Roddick, Pete Sampras, Roger Federer, they all have a big shoulder turn, and when you have that big shoulder turn, the racket is able to go from this position to this position, up and over the body. So instead of coming around the ball like this, you're actually gonna be able to hit up and over the ball, making the racket go in that path, in that swing path. So it's a really cool way to develop topspin on the serve just by having that great shoulder turn. And of course, having a great shoulder turn also allows you to use your arm in a natural way. If I'm a football player or a baseball player, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my arm and get it in this position. You can see I'm already turning my shoulders when I'm going to throw something. I want to do the same thing with the serve. I want to feel that turn as if I'm going to throw a ball. I don't want to just pick my, racket up, pick my hand up like this and try to throw it from here. And that's what I see a lot of players doing that don't have a great shoulder turn. So now that we've covered the reasons why I believe that everyone should have a great shoulder turn and the benefits of it, I actually want to show you when I think it's important to do it. So it's very common, again, with many servers of all levels. I've seen it with juniors. I've seen it with rec players, men, women. I've even seen it with college players and pros. The first move many times is initiated with the arms like this. Great servers out there do this as well. So I'm not saying that they're wrong. I'm just saying there could be a better way from my experience. So a lot of players move their arms first and don't have a shoulder turn in the beginning. So they might move in this fashion and then as the ball goes up then they find their shoulder turn later. And I just don't think that's as efficient. Again, if you look at Pete Sampras, Roger Federer, you're going to see that they make a very early shoulder turn. So I want players, this is the way I think is most efficient, just studying these guys for years and, and practicing with my own serve, is I believe that players should find that shoulder turn early in the motion. Okay, so instead of moving with the arms, you want to move with the shoulders first. The hips are going to turn, the shoulders are going to turn, and that is that initial move. So I'll hit a couple serves right now so you can kind of see what that's going to look like. So, the first serve I'm going to hit here, again, I want you to pay attention to the shoulders turning right when I initiate that movement on the serve. Okay, you'll notice that I'm not putting my arms up right away and then, and then finding my shoulder turn. I am focusing on turning from the very beginning. And so that, I believe that helps to create a fluid, effortless motion. I find that players, a lot of times, if they have too high of a toss and they don't have a shoulder turn right away, if they toss the ball really high and they move in this position, then they have to wait for the ball to come down and then they find their, their shoulder position. But I feel that, again, that's inefficient. So see if you can get out on the courts and 
make that move, make that first move where you feel your shoulders move instead of your arms. Really think about how you can initiate the serve motion with an early shoulder turn. I wanna cut out all the fat. So in other words, I like steak and I like eating fillets and there is no fat anywhere to be found. So we wanna trim the fat on the serve. We don't wanna have a lot of extra motion. We just wanna get into our shoulder turn as early as possible so that we can create that disguise, get in the trophy position as early as possible so that we can hit that big serve. So I'm gonna go ahead and serve one more time so you can see at shoulder turn again. And I really want you to get on the courts and give it a try as well. All right, so nice, easy, fluid swing. We're just focusing on that shoulder turn early. It's gonna create that disguise. It's gonna help you get more topspin. It's gonna to make your serve more efficient. So get out on the courts and try it. If you enjoyed this lesson, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, and also, by the way, if you want more tips over at Tennis Evolution, there should be a link down below where you can click on it. You can get over to our website. Uh, there should be somewhere where you can click in this video down and to the left or up and to the right or down to the right. I'm not sure, but you're gonna see something pop up. And when you do, you can click there and you can sign up to get more free tips from Tennis Evolution. This is Jeff Salzenstein. It's been a pleasure to help you out today, and we'll see you at the next video lesson.